Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gerardo and I love hair. Today I'm going to show you how I install these crochet faux locks on my hair. So if you're interested, keep on watching. So before I show you uh, how I installed the locks on my hair, I want to show you guys how they came in the package. Um, these are um, style icon crochet hair and they are in the style Bobby Boss by Lux in 12 inches in the color 1B. So basically I think they are the knockoff version of Bobby Boss by Lux. Um, but I thought it was you know the right thing for me to install faux locks uh, for the first time on my hair. I bought them over Amazon and they were $29.99 and I'll leave the link below um, if you want to buy them or want to try them out. Um, it comes in a six pack and each pack has 12 locks um, in it. And it also comes with a crochet needle and some hair jewelry that I will probably won't use. So of course, before I install the full locks, I wash my hair and I did a whole oil treatment and a hydrating mask. Um, I also planned my sections in advance because I wanted to do them, you know, as symmetrical as I could. So I do the spacing as evenly as I could. I made this little drawing. I'm going to show it to you. Um, but obviously, it changed while I was uh, doing the sections and, and braiding my hair. Uh, so as you can see, I tried to follow uh, my plan as best as I could. <laughs> um, having said that, just the sectioning of the hair and the twisting of each section took me around six hours. <laughs> so needless to say, I'm a very novice doing this and I respect to all the people who actually do this very fast. I have done the back of my head. I don't know if you can see. Let me see if I can show you. I know it's not the best, it doesn't look great. I am doing my best. Um, as you can see, my braids or twist because I braided uh, my roots and then just twist the rest of my hair. It's longer than the actual than the actual uh, locks. So um, I came up with this, I don't know if anyone has ever done this, um, trying to style short locks on long hair. Um, but yeah, this is basically what, I, what I've done um, all around my hair. Um, as you can see, this is a very long piece of hair. <laughs> very long piece of hair. And, uh, and what I did is I just fold my hair like this first. And probably I could use this, but I want it a little bit shorter, so I just fold it. And again, here I fold my ends back again into the body of the section. And I just grab it like that. And then I grab little uh, rubber bands and I tie the hair in that position I try to secure it very well because I don't want it sliding or anything doing anything it shouldn't so I go several times on it and now that it's like this you see it's all finicky <laughs> I just go to the base and I secure the base again with another rubber band. And I repeat this along the body of the section. So you see there's a little a little loop on the end I just try to make it as flat as possible so I just pull that rubber band 
tight as possible as I can until the, to the end. And I just keep doing that to the whole section of the hair, making it a tight section. So I just go to the base, like this little piece of hair of that it's my ends. I just grab them, grab the whole section, and I just tie a rubber band around it because I don't want it flying around inside the lock, which will eventually come out outside of the lock. So, I secure it like that. Probably this end also will shoot. This piece here should be tighter to the hair. Just get to tie there. I don't think I'm grabbing it at all. Yeah, I grab it. Um, so all I left is do the same thing on this part. Essentially what I did is I shortened the length of my hair without cutting in order for it to fit inside the 12 inches um, of the locks. And I think I'm, I only need one last one here. I mean, you, I think you can use as much as, as many, as many rubber bands as you need. Just to try to make the section look as tight as possible. So now that it's like that, all is left for me is to apply, to install um, the lock. Um, I just put the crochet needle let me see where I'm at. Here. Push the crochet needle to my hair. I grab the lock, close the latch, grab my hair to secure because I don't want to pull my hair. And I just pull the lock from the base. I release the needle, I open the loop and grab my hair, the lock, and I push it through that loop, and I just tighten them on different directions. Now that it's installed, I just look for the way the lock it's wrapped and I gently open it in order for me to wrap my hair with the lock so I just open the lock and I just began wrapping my hair So it's not difficult, it's not <laughs> rocket science, it's just something that you have to have a lot of practice to do. For me, it's, this is the first time I'm doing it, so uh, it takes a little a little time to get used to the, to the, to the little things that, that involve installing the, the locks. Um, So yeah, I just wrap around my hair, concealing my hair inside the lock as best as I can. And I don't mind if it's a little frizzy because I like the look. I think it makes it look more natural. Um, so yeah, now that I'm in the end, I just twist around the end. 
and I release it and let it go. And I look at the mirror just to see where I have to finesse anything. And if I don't have to do anything, I just squish it. Twist it a little bit just to um, distribute the hair very well. In, and there it is. So that's basically how I, how I did it. Um, so yeah, what I want you to take from this is how I actually um, make all this hair disappear inside <laughs> a 12 inch lock. So uh, I'm gonna do that and, and I'll be back. Hey, I'm back. Uh, so this is final result. Um, uh, it was an experience in itself. <laughs> I think it looks great. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, I really like the the results I I've got. Um, my sections were probably too big for for this. I use uh, four packs and a half. Uh, so I didn't really use that many many locks on on my hair and the pieces you see with the color string the accent pieces those accent pieces were just crochet in, in one of the sections so just to you know give it a little a little something to to the style but overall i would have probably wore it without any any um accent piece or, or anything. I really like the, the the look. There are probably some that I will have to probably redo like this one probably or keep twisting it but I'm happy with with how it turned out. So yeah thank you so much for watching. Uh, remember to subscribe and give a thumbs up and you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Panacorals and I hope to see you guys on my next video. Bye.